Hello everyone. In this session, let me see the types of PLC. So we have seen that PLC is one of the tool in industrial automation. So PLC is the controller and it is having various types. Okay. Let's see that. So there are three categories. Right. One is depends on size. Another one is depends on hardware setup. And the third one is depends on power supply. So we can classify the types of PLC depends on all three categories, right? If you are going for the purchase of PLC, you may have a, a question like depends on size or depends upon the hardware setup or depends on the power supply. So let's see what is this size. So in size also we have various types. So let's see that. Yeah, so if you see the depends on size, we have nano PLC, micro PLC, medium PLC, large and very large, right? So how they are classifying the size means depends upon the number of IOs they are using, right? So if you say, if you take a nano PLC, it will have very few number of IOs. If you find micro, it will be more than nano, but comparing to medium scale, it will be very less, right? So very large scale PLC will have more than 10,000 or 20,000 IOs it will be there. Combinedly, I'm telling for digital, analog, everything. Combinedly, number of IOs will be more in very large. And moreover, memory is also having, yeah. So memory is also having some impact in this. So depends upon the memory size of the PLC also, it is getting very. So the depends on size will get very with the two parameters. One is number of IOs and memories so these are all the general categories for nano plc nano plc you can keep it in your shirt packet that much small it will be right so micro plc is uh, you know comparing to nano it is a bit big and uh, in oil and gas industries and all they will be using a very large scale plc okay uh, so uh, it is not that for large scale industry they should use this when nano cannot be used in large scale not like that it is not having such criteria Depends upon my application, how many I use for my college project and all, I can go with the micro PLC, right? Uh, a food processing industry can use a medium scale industry, even the amusement park rights and all, they can use a nano PLC or micro PLC. So it is depends on the project and the requirement, right? So this is the first category. And the second category we are going to see is depends on hardware setup, right? This is very important because... Hardware setup is one of the main thing. Like if you see the first step is compact or integrated type PLC. Right. So what is this compact or integrated type PLC means? It will be like a single box. So we have seen the architecture, right? We are having a power supply module. We will have IO modules and CPU and, uh, you know, programming circuit and all we have seen. Devices we have seen, right? So CPU, IO modules, both our main thing so both are combinedly in this box in this box right so if you open this this is the Siemens brand if you open this you can find the IO ports inside itself CPU is there so all the components are combinedly in one box that is compact or integrated type PLC for example imagine this PLC is having 12 uh, inputs and uh, maybe 16 outputs. Imagine like that, okay? So, if you are in need of extra inputs, apart from 12, you know, more than 12 you are in need. Extra 6 or 7 you are in need. So, in that case, how can we use this compact or modular type, uh, sorry, integer type PLC? Because this is fixed one. This is the number of IOs is fixed by the manufacturer. We cannot do anything. So, in that case, some some manufacturer can give the op, give the option to use the expansion module so expansion module means when you are running out of ios when you are using a compact or integrated type when you are running out of ios you can make use of the expansion modules so expansion modules are nothing but extra io modules so in our case we are in need of six or seven ios that time you can get the extra input module by connecting those this CPU and this this CPLC and this expansion module, you can make the communication and you can get your extra IOs. So this is some manufacturer will have the facilities to have the 
expansion modules right and second type of plc is a modular type so modular type plc means cpu power supply io modules everything will be different can you see all the modules are different modules it will be like uh, you know plug and place if the cpu is not working you can remove the cpu and you can replace with a new cpu but here cpu is faulty means you cannot use this until it get repair or it get replace right so that is modular type plc in modular type plc you will have two types one is rack and another one is chassis rack means it will be like a din rail a silver kind of rod where you will be keeping your modules chassis means it will be like a box where it will uh, it will the chassis will have some plug in components so you can just uh, you know place your io modules or cpu or power supply over there so this is modular type plc so the third classification type is depends on power supply this is also an important category because whenever we are talking about what is the power supply we need to give to plc that is the one important thing that we should know right so what is the power supply means you can give both it may be a 230 or it may be a 24 volt okay it depends upon the types of plc that is what this classification is right so some plc you can give 230 directly but for some plc you cannot give 230 directly you should give 24 that mean what how in uh, you are taking from the power supply from the board and you will be convert that right after that you will give the 24 volt right so suppose if you are giving 230 directly to the plc that mean a plc is having smps component inside so plc can work with 24 volt okay so plc input is 24 volt only but in some plc you can give 230 also because you can able to convert 230 to 24 because it is having smps inside it it's not visible to outside okay you can if you open plc you can watch so that is with the smps plc suppose if you are giving 24 volt to the plc and it, that will be the without smps right that mean what a plc is not having smps that's what i am giving 24 right so these are all you can get from the user manual of plc right in there itself you they can mention what kind of uh, power supply we need to give they will be giving elaborately so these are all the three general classification when it comes to the types of plc so we'll meet you in the next session thank you